Yo, MDP, that's me, and welcome to Top 10 Things I Don't Like About The Sims 4. Just a disclaimer, I am not going to be talking about The Sims 4 community. Uh, this is just about the game, and the making of the game, and things like that. Um, here's the thing I do understand is that EA Games is a corporation. They are looking to make money. Think about this. Um, this is the game if... If there were no community at all, there were no custom content, did not exist, this is what this list is going to be going by. So, no custom content, no mods, they don't exist in this list. This is just about the game in itself, EA Games and Maxis as a whole, and some of the things that I just, I don't really like about the game. Number one, cannot pick up the Sims. You do not realize, as a storyteller, how horrible this is. Cannot pick up The Sims. Number one thing that bugs me is because we could pick up The Sims in Sims 3. We could pick up in The Sims in The Sims 3. I do remember being able to do that. And I just had base game. So, why not? Why can we not pick up The Sims? That is a question. What is the answer? Dose. Cannot go into tab mode in build and buy. We can do it in live mode or live mode, depending on who you are. Um, but we cannot go into tab mode at all while we're building and decorating. There are people out there that do not make sense that just want to decorate and build houses. But they have to be, they have to make a sim to put on a lot to be able to go into tab mode. It just seems kind of ridiculous to me. I mean, why? Just enable it. Number three, turning my sims into vendors when I'm not playing them. When I go back to them, they're in vendor gear, and I'm just like, what the heck? I don't want them to be vendors. That's what all the townies are for, right? So maybe there needs to be some kind of system put in place that, you know, the game recognizes that this is an original character sim. They don't want them turning into vendors. I mean, I've had Sims quit their jobs to become vendors. I'm like, what? So, maybe with the new system of having your favorites, maybe that will help with this? I don't know, I haven't really tested it out, but so far, I'm very unhappy about that. This is something that has bothered me since the Vampire Pack came out. Um, I had Sims already made that would be vampires. I mean, you know, I pretended they were vampires with those, you know, those mods that don't exist that we talked about that don't exist. Yeah. Um, so that worked out, right? But when I installed the Vampire Game Pack, I was like, oh, I was so happy because, you know, I love vampires. And so I went to those sims to make them actual vampires. You can't do it. Let me repeat that. Number four cannot turn pre-existing sims into vampires. Why not? I mean, why isn't there just like a little button you can pick, I mean, you choose the sim and you say, oh, make vampire. That would be such a help. Because then you have to try to recreate that sim. I mean, it's not easy with the sims for, you know, sculpting to make sims look exactly like so, I mean, it's not as much of a science with the sliders. So, that is something that I hate that I can't do, is a sim that's already sim. So you have to go through the whole thing of making a vampire sim, finding that sim in your neighborhood. Hopefully that vampire has enough extra experience points to be, you know, to make more vampires. And then maybe they'll turn into a vampire. It's a very lengthy process to do something that you should have been able to do in CAS, you know? So, that's my number four complaint. Number five. Remember in top ten wish list I said about the Sims having no private conversations? When you have two Sims out in the market and you want them just to talk, but here comes all the townies flocking to your two Sims and crowding up your conversation. Well, in addition to that, how about the constant sitting, standing, rotating, moving around, doing things that you don't want the Sims doing? That too. While they're talking. 
you have two sims, you know, you have them sitting at the bar talking, but then suddenly one gets up to stand up for some reason. Why they're talking? Why? Why? That just, uh. And then you have to click off the animation or you make them sit back down. Because you can, while they're still talking, have them sit back on the stool. But sometimes they'll just get up again or the other sim will get up and you'll have this whole thing of you have to stop both actions and have them sit again. Remember, we have no mods. They don't exist. This needs to be fixed because I think it's just too buggy. To me, it's too buggy. I mean, because they're constantly moving. If you have them sitting at the bar, they're sitting at a bar sharing a drink. They need to be sitting. Why would they get up? Why would you get up? I mean, if you gotta go pee, yeah, I get that, but you don't gotta pee. You're talking to someone. You don't just weirdly and oddly get up while you're talking and just stand there, and then the person has to look over here and be like, Hey, buddy, we're still talking, right? Number six. Super important to me. Um, you know, I play with no story progression off. Because I don't want to miss anything. Like, I don't know the births of the Sims that I, I, you know, have get pregnant and for the story purposes and things like that. Or some happy accidents, things like that happen between Ace and Jody. But still, story progression's off, right? No! No, story progression says it's off. But it's not. It's not off. No. It's, they're still doing things while you're at, you know, Sim A's house. You go over to Sim B's house. Yeah, Sim A is still going on. Even though story progression is off. Nightmare for a storyteller like myself. I have missed both births in my Sims 4 hot mess because, you know, I'm not constantly over at that household. So annoying. So if you say story progression is off, hey, Maxis, can it actually be off? For real? Would be nice. This is just a nitpicky thing for number seven. Lighting. Um, I actually do really like the lighting in Sense 4. I mean, the, the change of day, time thing it is, is phenomenal. And it's beautiful. I mean, it makes beautiful pictures when, you know, I'm wanting still pictures and of, like, a room, you know, in a bedroom. And you see the morning lighting coming through. Oh, it's great. Yeah, but it's always dark. You know, the game seems like it is 85% dark, and then there's like that little five minutes of it being actual light outside. Remember these mods that don't exist. You know, there are mods that to make it to eternally light outside and eternally dark. I have the one that doesn't exist for the vampire world. Yeah. It just feels like my game is always nighttime, or it's always dusk, or it's, it's always just dawn, and then suddenly it's the afternoon, and then it's dark again. So just a nitpicky thing. Okay, these next three are going to be a little bit more about how the game is made. And so some people might be like, ah, oh, yeah, but it's a corporation, this and that, and advancements and games and blah, 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 blah. But opinion, remember, this is just an opinion. You don't have to take it to heart. You don't got to get offended about my opinion. It's just mine. All right. All right. Number eight. Let's talk about what we want for this game. Because it's a live simulation game, right? So, we want things that go with live simulation, that help with uh, making, not necessarily realism, I don't think, but making it fun and creative and new and fresh, right? And keeps us, you know, growing the families and things like that. Where are we going with all these you know, expansion packs and stuff packs. I just seem, it just seems like there's not focus in EA games and Maxis right now. I mean, all these packs that are coming out are all sporadic. We got Laundry Day stuff. Now we got Action Adventure Jungle coming out. I mean, where is the linking? I mean, why wasn't Laundry just put in Seasons? Or something like that. Or, I mean, when we're getting these quality, quality, Expansion packs, they seem more like game packs, like cats and dogs, not pets. Cats and dogs. There just seems like there's stuff missing. Or it's not an incomplete thought. Like, you know, Outdoor Retreat came out. When was that? 2014? Don't quote me, I don't know. 
Um, it came out a few years ago, right? That was a vacation area. So why wasn't the team like, hey, we're making something vacation? Why don't we make more than one location? No, instead, like a corporation, and like I, I said at the beginning of this, I understand that EA Games is a corporation. They want to make money. They want to milk this for all it's worth. People think that's wrong. I get corporations. I've worked for corporations, hey. So I get that mentality, but as a gaming corporation... Maxis, not EA games, but Maxis. They gotta be like thinking to themselves, we're really scatterbrained. We're putting out vacation, we're only putting out one re one location, and then later, hey, hey, later, later, when we actually really think about this thing that we're doing, let's put out another vacation area. Sims 2, Bon Voyage, got three locations. World's Adventure got three locations. Sims 4 got one location, and then now we're thinking about another one, which everybody seems to be very excited for, the action pack. I kind of like different ideas and different maps. Like, I, I kind of like um, the idea of medieval hood. I like the idea of um, <clears throat> a farming area and maybe, like, a future pack, like Into the Future in Sims 3 was a... I guess it was cool. I mean, I liked looking at it. I thought it was cool looking. I never actually played it. But it, it doesn't seem like a much of a focus on the core of the game. Number nine. I'm not listening! That is what EA Access is saying on a daily basis to all of us consumers, right? All of us gamers. They're like, hey, I'm going to spew out a laundry day stuff. You know what? First, I'm going to make it seem like I'm actually listening by putting up a poll to see what we all want, right? But I'm going to make sure this is a stuff pack with very, very little content so I get more boom for my dollar, right? Because corporation logic. That's okay. I get corporation logic. But at the same time... Sims 2 teen style stuff pack. Let's talk about that. How many different styles did the teenagers get in that pack? You got you got Castle, you got I mean, which was like the girly girl, and then you got the goth, and you got the sport kid, things like that. You got a lot of different things for your teens. So we're putting out laundry day stuff thing, which I think should have been something added in a game pack or a, an expansion pack. Like seasons would have made sense for laundry to be in. You know, you're doing your laundry and suddenly it rains on your clothesline. That would make pretty good, you know, gameplay comedy. But um, no, no, let's make it a separate stuff pack. You know, but let's make us choose through all the different styles. That way, you know, all these concepts that we've already had pre-drawn up and probably already started modeling, and let's, but let's do it the, the one we want. So let's give them the option. Make it seem like we're actually listening to what they want. We could have had all those styles of laundry. Modern, the cottage, all those different kinds. Why did they make us choose? So that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about with the not listening. I'm also talking about what we've been talking about throughout the whole process of the games. Like when we found out there was going to be no toddlers, immediately someone at Max, like I said in I think the one of the reading comments, someone at Max just should have been like, hey, this is a lot of backlash. We need to correct this. We need to make this right. And, you know, they did eventually. took forever to put a live stage in. This is probably why we don't have university yet. Think about it. We don't have university. Think about that. Schooling is a very big part of your actual life. But we don't have it in the life simulator game. That's about life simulating. I want university, though, to be a school day pack. I want it to be more 
not just university, but maybe we'll get some preschool. Maybe we'll get some, like, grade school, and then, well, I don't know what you call that in other countries, like primary school and things like that, and high school, and then maybe two-year college, a community college, not just a big university. And then, hey, you can transfer to the big university. And maybe you could do some online university from home for those Sims who are, you know, have children and stuff. So, I mean... Those are things that would be really awesome to put into the core of the game. Are they really listening? Because think about it. People from the beginning of the game have complained about not having the use of terrain ma manipulation. I know Simmers have been complaining about that because someone put out a bunch of, like, I mean, these things that don't exist, um, different types of terrains. But we can't make, you know, hills, slants in The Sims 4 because it has to be perfect to what I'm going to talk about at number 10. Now let's talk about some things that you're probably like, hey, this is missing from your, your top 10. Create a style. Open world. Yeah, I don't care. I didn't like open world in Sims 3. Everybody's like, oh, loading screens. Oh, they're terrible. Mm. Yeah, I got to wait, you know... Well, I don't have to wait that very long for my Sims 4 game to load. My Sims 2 game, yeah, I gotta wait 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what I got in the game, um, for it to load. So loading screens don't bother me. I'm patient. Um, so I don't like open world for Sims 3, because it always seemed like forever that it was loading. You, you wanted to be in, like, a five-acre area, but it's loading, you know, 100 acres worth of things. Kind of, I know, it didn't work. It made the computers run hard. It made it real slow. It made it real laggy. Yeah, talk about your awesome computer and how it runs fine on it. Whatever. I don't care. But create a style I didn't like either. It took away from creators being able to put out things. I mean, those mods that don't exist. That's right, they don't exist. So those things are not going to be a part of this list. As you've probably already noticed, we're down to number... 10, and we haven't talked about those things. So, but number 10. The game doesn't feel limitless. Now, you, I just said, oh, I don't like open world, and I don't like create a style, and that helps with the limitless creating thing. But no, it doesn't feel limitless. We don't get to customize our own worlds. We don't get to have any worlds of our own. We don't get to be able to do our own maps. That feels restrained to me. We're not allowed to have apartments out of one neighborhood or world or whatever. That seems restricted to me. That seems like EA Maxis wants us to have just their image and not our image. You know, what we want. The whole thing in Sims 2 and Sims 3 was promoting limitless m modifications to the game. Y you know, in the game mechanics themselves, not with just mods, but in the game itself, being able to do whatever you want. Sims 3 did eventually get create a world, right? So, I mean, to me, this seems, this is a big deal. I want to have as many lots as I want to have in my world. I want to have, a, I want to have apartments by a sub-community. I want those things. Those things, to me, they help make it seem limitless, that so you can do anything you want in the game. Very restricted to what you are allowed to do in your community, in your worlds. And I'm playing with my hands. Look at these hands. Ah, oh, when I get excited, my hands talk. So, it just, it just seems to me that that's something that's been lost in the concept of the sim game. It's a life simulation. We should be able to do anything we want, right? You can do anything you want in life. You can't in this game. You can't have apartments out of San Ma Maishono? I don't know. I'm not going to say it right. You can't. That's so stupid. It doesn't make sense. You could do it in Sims 2. I don't know if you could do it in Sims 3, but I, I'm assuming you did because there was a lot of outrage from Sims 3 or 2 that you could not have apartments outside. So, I mean, does it make sense? And, you know, I'm saying apartments, but, uh, you know, what about hotels? We're doing vacationing, right? How, co how come there's no ability to have hotels in the city or in the country? Because people vacation in areas like that. They don't just go to the woods or they don't just go to the jungle to vacation. 
To me, these these are things that it just it doesn't feel like you're able to do what you want with your world. You have to do it in the image that Maxis wants you to have it. I hate that. I don't want to have their world. For my original characters that I get to make in CAS with all their sculpting, a beautiful abilities of sculpting that they talk about and that they, they have advertised since the very creation of the game. But you're not, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to put those characters that you've built so hard in your CAS in the world that you imagine for them. Yeah, you can build the house you want. You can't have the neighborhood you want. You can't have the world you want. And that's part of my list, my top ten wish list things. It's got more of an explanation of what I would like to see. And I'll link that in the description below. And just so you'll know, guys, that I do actually like the Sims 4 game. I know I'm going on and on about things I don't like. And it's like, oh, does she even really like this game? Why is she even buying for this game if she doesn't like this game? I do like the game. I like some of the mechanics. I, I like the cartoony look. I think it's really charming. And I know that was the advertising word that they use in EA games. But you know what? It, it really is charming to me. So, I just want to say that there are ten things that I do not like about The Sims 4 game. And maybe later I'll actually put out a top ten of the things that I actually do like about the game. How about we do that? We'll make it even. Alright? Alright. The top ten things are done. You know what that means, right? We can now say this for sure. Mods exist! Go and download those mods! Be happy with those mods! Thank those creators! Give them credit! Hey! And just enjoy the community. Enjoy it, because it's wonderful. Our community is one of the best communities in all gaming. Right, right. So, anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up or, hey, subscribe. Hey, and you can find me at mdpthatsme.tumblr.com or any links in the description below. And as always, guys, happy simming.